What's up everybody, this is Jesse with HTC One Soft Modder, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to revert from CyanogenMod back to StockSense. We showed you how to revert back to StockSense from other mods in the past, but we found that CyanogenMod was more difficult and people were having some, some trouble with it, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit today. The first thing you're going to want to do is back up everything you care about on your phone. What we're about to do is going to be the equivalent of a factory reset, so anything that you need, go ahead and make backups of that so that when you lose it, when we do this, you're not going to miss it. Now you're going to download the Android SDK tools and the links that I provided for you. I use the slim version of that because it only takes a couple minutes to download as opposed to it's about an entire gig worth of stuff. Um, when you download that, put it somewhere that you're going to remember it somewhere easy. I renamed a folder SDK here in my downloads folder and I went ahead and dropped the file here, Android SDK slim and then I extracted it right here in this folder to make it really easy. Um, once you extract the file, we're going to confirm that you have it, that everything works. So once you extract it, open the folder, Android SDK Windows, and then open Platform Tools, and then hold in the Shift key and right click, and then open a command window, window right there. Once you do that, um, confirm that the version that you have is working by typing in um, ADB version. No, ADB version, there we go. Okay, you should get uh, Android Debug Bridge version 1.0.31. That lets you know that everything is working exactly as you need it to, so that's great. We're gonna leave this command window open for now because we're gonna need that a little bit later. Now you're gonna wanna download um, HTC Sync and the HTC ROM uh, update tool. Um, you can do that also in the link that I provided for you in the tutorial. Here it is right here. This, um, this, this tutorial is going to be for the AT&T version of the HTC One because that's the phone that I have. That's what I've been working with. So from now on, just assume that I'm working with the HTC, the AT&T version of the HTC One. Um, when you open up the link, you're going to get to this page, which is from HTC talking about this tool. Um, make sure that you download the uh, HTC sync manager to your computer and once you do that and install it that basically is going to guarantee that you have all of the drivers that you need um, for your phone and your computer to be able to communicate with one another and then scroll down to the bottom and install this um, very hefty 1.1 gig file to your computer <clears throat> once you do that when you run it um, it's actually going to be a wizard tool that's going to automatically install um, sideload the current version of the official HTC ROM back onto your phone. Um, so when that's installing, you can go over to your phone and enable USB debugging and then do um, complete the next steps that we're gonna need for this tutorial. So go ahead and take a look at your phone. I'm gonna take a look at mine right now too. All right, I've got my HTC One phone here and I'm gonna go over to settings and enable USB debugging, which we're gonna need to issue to command the commands from our computer. So I'm just gonna swipe down, go to settings, go down to developer options, and enable USB debugging. It's gonna ask me if I wanna do it, I'm gonna say yeah. Um, once that's complete, I'm going to make sure that my phone, that the bootloader is actually locked on my phone. Normally when you wanna do anything on your phone, you wanna make sure your bootloader is unlocked, but right now we wanna make sure it's locked, otherwise this process won't work. So to see about that, we're gonna power off our phone. Phone's gonna shut down. <clears throat> Once the phone's shut down, I'm going to power back on the phone, holding in the uh, power, the uh, the volume down key and the power button at the same time. Once this completes here, okay, holding in the volume down key, holding in the power key. Okay, um, now you you actually see that um, my bootloader is currently unlocked up here. And I need to make sure that's locked. So I'm going to go into fast boot. I'm going to select it with the volume keys. Use the power button to select. And now I'm going to connect my phone to my computer with the micro USB cable and then issue the command over on the computer. Okay, my phone is connected to my PC with my micro USB cable. And I've made sure that my phone is in fast boot mode. I'm going to open up this command terminal from before and type in the command to lock the bootloader, which is fast boot space OEM space lock. I've actually done it before. I typed it in uh, just up here. It says lock successfully, and I went through this string of text. Um, it actually says lock failed, which is a little weird because I'm looking at my phone and it actually says that it was successful. So I'm going to ignore that. Um, I'll show you what that looks like over on the phone. 
So looking back on the device now, you can see up here in the pink, under tampered, it says relocked, which means that as of now, the bootloader is locked again, which means that I'm free to do the next step, which is run the utility. Let's head back over to the computer and do that. We're now at the final step of the guide, which is to run the utility, the HTC ROM update that we installed earlier. I'm going to navigate to that right now, into my downloads folder. It should be saved as an RUU file. So here you can see it's going to say RUU, M7, UL, this long string stuff right here. Go ahead and give that a double click. Getting this install wizard that's setting up. It's actually a pretty simple process. You basically just follow the prompts of the wizard, which automatically applies the ROM to your device. You don't have to do anything. You just watch status bars the rest of the time. The wizard's now set up and ready to go. It tells you welcome and what it's going to do. Go ahead and click that you understand what it's going to do. You hit next. Again, you hit that you understand the steps. It says please don't turn off your phone. Please make sure your battery is charged. Make sure that your computer is not going to turn off as well because you don't want to disconnect anything while this process is happening. Once you're ready, hit next. It's going to verify the information on your phone. It asks you to verify that you're going to go from the image um, on the computer to the image on your phone, in which case it's exactly the same. Go ahead and hit next because that's what we want. It's going to give you some final warnings, make sure that everything's ready. Hit next. And then it's going to start checking. This is going to be a long process. It could take up to 10 minutes, as it says here. During this process, your phone is going to turn off and on. Um, things are going to go back and forth. Try not to mess with anything while this is waiting. Make sure that your computer is powered up and that everything is ready and nothing's going to be interrupted. And when it's done, you will have stock sent back on your HTC device. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more, check out HTC One Soft Modder. Thanks a lot.